Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours in HUD homes in and around the San Antonio area. If you're watching this on HUDKing.com, click on the bird to follow us on Twitter, click on the F to follow us on Facebook, or click on the YouTube link to be taken to our YouTube page. While you're at our YouTube page, if you click on the subscribe button, you'll be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here at 9147 Ridge Mill. That's 9147 Ridge Mill over in the Ridge Creek subdivision that's located on the northwest side of San Antonio, 78250 area. This is a three bedroom, two bath home, two car garage, obviously two story, approximately 1168 square feet. It was built in 1986. Home sits on about a 6,600 square foot lot. Exterior is a combination of brick and wood siding. It's in fair condition on the exterior. Might need a little bit of siding repairs and definitely a paint job. It's like a tiny bit of wood rot damage around the home. This home is about $4,000 under the county appraisal and homes in this neighborhood that are similar are selling from about 150 to 160. So it is about 30 to $40,000 underneath the county appraisal. I think definitely a great starter home for somebody. Let's take a look at the backyard. Then we'll look at the inside. I like this little porch here up front. We step out to the backyard through some French doors off of the dining room. It's a nice yard. Pretty much a standard residential size. But I do like the trees. There's a little shed, a little rock garden there. Now the exterior siding of this home will definitely need to be replaced as well as some of the trim. Some of these homes in the 80s were built with this type of siding that once it had a hole, it would deteriorate pretty easily if you didn't address it and didn't seal it. So a lot of the siding on the home will need to be replaced. And then they came and replaced some of the trim around. They didn't caulk it. So you'll definitely want to treat it, caulk it, paint it, make sure that water doesn't affect that or rain doesn't affect that. Let's take a look at the inside. Well, as we step into the home, the entryway does have ceramic tile. So does the little dining room over there. And I think you can probably salvage this tile. In fact, I probably would for the time being, unless you really want to replace all of the flooring. When we walk in, if we turn to the right here, we have bedroom number one or your master bedroom and your master bathroom. It's going to need carpeting, definitely, and a fresh coat of paint. I do like how it has this vaulted ceiling. So it makes the room actually feel very, very open and large. It's not a huge floor plan. It's basically a starter home, but I think it has a ton of potential. You have these French doors that take you into your bathroom. The bathroom actually has dual vanities, which is a nice upgrade for a home of this size. It has a big uh, garden tub along with a shower. The ceiling has the old popcorn ceiling, and when it does get moisture, sometimes it tends to peel. So I'd probably remove that, update it. You have your walk-in closet here. A little bit of a water damage up top of the closet and then your commode. So. Uh, I do like that it does have ceramic tile. I think you could probably salvage the tile here if you were to clean it up. Just put carpeting or wood or tile in the bath in the bedroom. We continue through. We have your living room here. Now the home does have a fireplace, which is a nice accent. You'll see that there was probably some sheetrock damage here next to the windows, next to the fireplace. So you're going to want to address that. Maybe put some insulation in, repair the sheetrock. <coughs> Pardon me is evidence of a little bit of damage up there. I do like how it has the high vaulted ceiling. Like I said, that does make the home feel a lot larger than it is. We have your dining room here. The dining room does have the French doors that take you outside. And then this in turn opens up into your kitchen. Now you'll notice that the cabinets have been removed from this home. So I'm not sure why, but they did remove the cabinets. It does have ceramic tile. You're gonna to wanna to come back, put in cabinets, maybe change the countertop. And then we have access over into your garage. Garage, pretty standard. Water heater is going to be in the garage, a little storage area here that actually has storage underneath your staircase. So it's a little additional storage to put things in there if you need to, maybe Christmas decorations. We come over and it does have an indoor laundry room. Your washer and dryer connections are here inside. There's a little bit of wall damage, so you'll definitely want to repair that. We come over now. The other two bedrooms will be upstairs. Going to want to address the flooring on the staircase. Looks like they pulled out carpet. If there was carpet, repaint the staircase. We get upstairs and it does have kind of a balcony here where you can see over into the living room, which is nice. To the left of the staircase, we have bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is going to need a fresh coat of paint and some flooring. Down the hallway at the very end, we have bedroom number three. Bedroom number three is going to need a closet door and some carpeting and some painting. And then right, <clears throat> pardon me, next to bedroom number three is your bathroom number two. Full bath number two is a single vanity. 
shower and tub combo. It has nice tile surround there and tile on the floor. That's about it. The home really just needs some carpeting, painting, some sheetrock repair, address a little bit of that siding, and you're pretty much done. As I said, this home is priced about thirty to forty thousand dollars underneath the county appraisal. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 9147 Ridge Mill. That's 9147 Ridge Mill, a very nice two-story, three-bedroom, two-bath home. This is more of a starter home. It's only about 1,200 square feet. It is going to need some repairs, as you see, probably some flooring, some sheetrock work, definitely some trim and some outside siding. But it is about thirty dollars to $40,000 underneath the comparable homes for sale in that neighborhood right now. It's listed for only $120,000. So if you're interested in this home and you don't have a realtor, I would love to earn your business. You can reach me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.